current uh, reported outbreak of uh, Marburg virus disease that has been reported by Ghana Health Service. Actually, it is not this type of uh, bat that you see here in this environment that is supposed to be carrying the, or to be uh, uh, the suspected host. It is actually what we call the Rosetus aegypticus. That's the commonly called the Rosetus or the Egyptian fruit bats. And these bats are actually commonly found in uh, caves, abandoned uh, mine sites, uh, uh, holes in uh, tree trunks, uh, basically. So the, the bat that is suspected to be carrying that virus, that is where they are actually found. And not these ones that are roosting in, in, in these trees here. So. And when we talk of uh, abandoned mining holes, when we talk of caves, definitely you could see there's some level of uh, risk there. But we have tourists who visit uh, caves to see other things. We have traditional people who go to worship in, in caves. We also know that in Ghana we've had uh, challenges with illegal mining and I know of course there should be some abandoned uh, holes in those mining sites. So some of these bats could also go to roost in some of these caves and when people have access to them, then the risk of uh, acquiring the, the, the virus is there. Um, in 2012, uh, the Forestry Commission Wildlife Division collaborated with the University of Ghana, University of Cambridge, and other international research organizations. Some research was done in some caves at uh, Buyem, and actually antibodies of the Marburg virus disease were, were found in those uh, caves. The virus has not been isolated, but antibodies were found. Yeah, so, so having said that about the Egyptian fruit bats, um, we know that all bats in general, whether insectivorous bats, that's a, that is those bats that eat insects and the other bats that eat fruits, could be carriers of uh, thousands or hundreds of uh, pathogens that could be detrimental to our health. So uh, we all have to make sure we protect ourselves, stay away from uh, bats, especially those who consume uh, bat as bushmeat. Um, and then uh, protect our environments and make sure that when uh, you get up in your yard where you have tree, uh, fruit trees and you see that uh, fruit has fallen on the ground and it's half eaten, basically these uh, fruits are eaten by bats and then it falls over on the ground. Sometimes that's where children go to pick them to also eat maybe without washing. So we have to take the necessary precautions and actions to prevent the spillover from the disease from either any of these bats into uh, humans.